What are Canva set codes? Where to find them and how to save them? In Canva, they have an element library that has thousands and thousands of elements. Often when you search for a specific element, like school supplies, you'll get a whole ton of school supply elements, but none of them match. They don't go together. They might be different styles. A set code helps you find a collection of elements within the Canva library. I'm going to show you how to find the collections, how to save them, and how to use them in your your designs. Canva has a vast library of elements and when you are searching for elements it's usually nice to use elements that have a similar style or look. That is where set codes come in. Now not every element belongs to a set or collection but I'm going to show you how to find the ones that do and then you can use them and save them for future projects as you are working on designs within Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a design. I've already found a few sets to show you. And you can see these are all a similar style. They are a cartoon and they have the same eyes. They are made by the same artist. There are also alphabet sets. Maybe you want to use these to print out and hang on bulletin boards. You can find emojis that you can use in different slides or different activities in your classroom. You can look for science sets. So this would be the solar system. We have some fossil sets and then just some cute doodle classroom sets. Now there are thousands of different collections in Canva. You just have to look for them and it does take time, but I'm going to show you how to do that. On the left hand side under elements, you're going to search for what you want to look for in this ocean example, I just searched for ocean animals. And then I'm going to hover over graphics, see all, and you're going to find a graphic that you like. And you'll see the three little dots appear. I click on those and I don't see an option that says view collection. So I'm going to look for another one. Here's a cute little fish. Click the three little dots, view collection. Now here's that collection of sea animals that I have here. This is the set code. I just went ahead and copied that and I pasted it on this worksheet just to save it for you. But if you were to type this set code into the search bar here on Canva, including set colon, then that whole collection of elements will come up. Now trying to find the elements is what's going to take a lot of time. Again, here's a set code for these alphabet letters. I love alphabet letters because you can use them for bulletin boards in the hallway or in your classroom. Now these fossils are cute. These weren't all of them, but I'm going to go ahead and put them here just so you can see the different fossil pieces that were included. And then of course the cute doodle classroom supplies. Now, if I want to save these sets, there's a few different ways you can do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull up a set here. So I'm gonna click the three little dots, view collection. Here's that cute doodle back to school set. If I were to click the three little dots, I can choose add to folder. Now I can save that on or in a folder in my Canva designs. So I'm going to go ahead and search my folders. I know I have one called elements or clip art. Let's see, clip art elements. So here are all of my folders that I've been creating. I can create one called school supplies. If I don't have one, I have one here, school doodles. But if I don't want it mixed in with the school doodles, I can just create a new one and call it pastel school supplies move to folder. And then I will have to do that to every element that I want from this collection. And then that will, they'll then be saved. So I'm gonna do that for every single piece here that I want. Now I've saved them all in a folder and I'll show you in just a moment where to find those folders. Now, if you liked this style, you can also search a specific artist. So I'm going to go ahead and click the three little dots here 
and view more by. And then this is the artist who created them. And I can see all her graphics and search within her elements. So I could just do school supplies. And here are a bunch of different school supplies that she has. Or if you're looking for something specific, here's an owl that she's created or owls. So you can search within specific artists as well. So let's see here. She has some and let's see if she has any other collections. Let's click the three little dots, view collection. Here's another set of school supplies, and these ones are really cute. I really like that. So I would maybe create a new folder, and I might call this one. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the clip art elements, but I'm gonna call it just doodle school supplies and add some of these to that. So now I've saved some clip art into folders and I could keep looking for different elements. So maybe I want cute alphabet set. And I can look at all the different alphabets that are here, or I could specifically say something like summer alphabet. Maybe I'll find a cute summer themed alphabet. Like this is a cute blue and yellow color, or I've even found specific animal alphabet and you'll see some that they look like animals and so you, you want that whole set right so you'll click the three little dots view collection and you'll see the whole alphabet in the cute animal style so go ahead and start looking for different sets you want to save but once you save them in folders where do you find them once you've saved some element collections that you like you can open up a new design and on the left-hand side, under projects, you can search your content for your different folders. So I'm gonna search clip art and I want my folders. And then I have 28 folders and clip art elements here. And I'm gonna look for which one I want. I just did this doodle school supplies and now here they all are. And I can start adding them to my design to use however I choose. And they're just right here, easy grab and go. And they're always saved within my projects. What if you find a clip art or element that you like within a presentation template? You can find that collection and save it too if it is a type of element you want to use in the future. So let's go ahead and open up a different design. I'm just gonna go ahead to recently used here. I'm gonna apply these pages. If you like this clip art element, you can find its collection right here on the slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and choose info. And then you can see view collection. And now that collection of clip art elements comes up right here for me to use. And you can save it in your projects or just find other similar elements and use them in your design so it has a consistent look and feel. Within elements, you can also find similar looking styles. So if I were to search for, let's do fractions, and you like this fraction circle, you can click the three little dots. Oh, it does have a collection and I can view the collection, but I could also click see more like this. And it's going to come up with lots of different fraction options. So maybe you like the circle, but it also is giving me different square, stars, triangle fractions that I could use and save for different projects. Now, the farther, farther you go down in the magic recommendation, the more unlike your design that you are looking for comes up. But up here, I have lots of great options that I could use for fractions. Now let's say you were looking for an element like a pencil and you see one you like, but it doesn't have a collection. That's another great option when using the see more like this. So see more and I'll see if I'll see if I see any other similar pencils. I don't. So I'll go back and I'll just keep looking. Maybe I find another pencil that I like doesn't have a collection. See more like this. These have little smileys. That's cute doesn't have a collection. Here we go. Here's one with a collection. And those are a bunch of smiley pencils that I was looking for. But this time I have them all with the same character. 
So maybe I could use it in a presentation and the whole pencil could be like the theme of my presentation. I love looking for set codes and collections within Canva so that I can create consistent looking designs. Now, sometimes it does take a while to dig. You might search for an element like a cute animal. And you'll find one you really like, but it won't belong to a set. And so you're going to have to keep searching. I could click the three little dots and it doesn't save you collection. So I could search that artist and within that artist, I could search cat. And I'm going to have to look for each one that looks the same. I prefer when there's a collection because it makes it easier to save. I could still save these click the three little dots, add to a folder, and I can make a cat folder if I wanted. But it is easier just to have those set collections. I am sharing set codes that teachers would want to use in different collections within the Element Library on my Instagram and TikTok. So make sure to follow along there to find those set codes. I'll also share them on YouTube. So make sure to like and subscribe this video if you're interested and want to learn more about how to use Canva in your classroom.